And why not? How, I have 30 minutes left on my camcorder. Let's record more Kirby. I should probably be recording Sonic Adventure 2, but god dang it, I want to record Kirby. If I want to record Kir Kirby, I'll record Kirby, god darn it. And here we see there's an easy... And, uh, maybe not. Falling. We are dying in the rain. I'm singing. No. We are falling. We are so still fall. We got hit. What a shame. But we are still falling. Now, as you can see, there's blocks here. Why, you may ask? Well, down here, there's an entrance. Another entrance, mind you. Besides the one that we could have used up there. And we're gonna want to use this entrance instead, because this actually gets the secret. It's probably the most easiest secret to get in the whole game. Because it, it's right there. Like, literally. A, a friggin... A, an idiot would be able to fi find that. I think I'm starting to remember this, remember this level now. I love it. I love this whole game. Da, da, da. Die to die, you deserve to die because I'm Kirby and I say you should die. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering with these. I mean, sure, the score's getting higher and higher, but what does it matter? And let's go to level two. Because we can. Let's suck up the sword. Go! Trigger, trigger. Frigger Fraggle. And it's sort of water level. Hi, Kaboo. Bye, Kaboo. Die. Die, fishy man. <coughs> and there's a guy with a ball power up, but again, the ball power up is useless and utter garbage, so why would you want to get it? <laughs> and the coconuts killed him. Oh, jeez. Hi, Swordman. Bye, Swordman. Kirby, the swordsman. Coming to you. Now, this door, you may think that... Yeah. Maybe it was this one? No. I seem to remember there was a door that you could enter. And it would trick you into thinking that was the door that you actually entered from. But that's not the door you entered from. Do you know why I remember that? Like, see right there. It kind of tricks you. But all you're really missing there is a one-up, so doesn't really matter. Now, Bonkers, we're gonna need his power-up. So whatever you do, when you beat him, don't lose his power-up. It would be a very bad decision to lose his power-up. So let's suck him up and get the hammer ability. Hammer, bama, and flare. Ow, buggy. Give me my hammer. I need the hammer. May the hammer be with you. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Hammer. Hamburger. And that's the end of the level. Yep. Because I think, if I remember correctly... Actually, what's in the museum? Because there's a museum up here. Uh, stone and tornado. Nothing too useful when we have the hammer of power. Yeah, and now there's a lake of blood down there, as you can see. That's kind of dark. We have no choice but to float up here, unless we have high jump, but why would we want to high jump when we have the mighty hammer? Don't get shot by the cannons, that would be stupid. And now there's an updraft going up, 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 out of this river of blood, into here. Where there's bottle of pits and a wheelie. There's a bunch of wheelies. Oh, I killed my hammer! That makes me sad. It makes me a sad person. No. Oh. oh well. Maybe we didn't need the hammer. Oh, by the way, the, the, the wheelie can't go on spikes. I forgot to mention that. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I, I should have mentioned that. Ah! And let's go in here, and... And I, I want my tomato. That... 
that 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 life can go kill itself because it's just asking for a suicide mission three. So we don't want that. But we do want this umbrella. Why? Because it'll allow us to float down to safely. Yay. Isn't that glorious? Kirby is falling. We're falling. Ow! That hurt. You should be ashamed of hurting Kirby. Ugh. That's another level. Yay. Yeah. I hope this thing is recording my commentary. As you can see, there's actually a thingamajigger stuck there. I think that is what we need our hammer for, but I'm not too sure. Or that's where we're getting, where we're gonna get a hammer to get, unlock a secret in another world. I don't remember. Ah. I do remember this place though. This place has spikes, a lot of spikes, and very tricky floating, or else you could very easily die there. And there's a one-up that we could get by the burning ability, but. I don't care. Eh, but I did care about that. That was mean placement game. Meta Knight! Fight me, coward! Or not. Just send your frickin' minions at me. That's fine, too. Yeah, this one, this is on three platforms with his minions constantly attacking you. Some of them throw at you, some of them will just swing at you with their hatchets. It's overall pretty easy. Yeah. Jeez, what is with Meta Knight attacking us so much? Like... What is he gonna fight us himself? A coward. Oh, I think I remember the secret here, guys. I think I remember the first time I played this game, I could never find the secret. Okay, you see that doorway there? It's actually a doorway. I did not know about that the first time playing through. I don't know why. I'm an idiot, I guess. And that'll give us a hammer if we suck them both at the same time. That is very important. Or not. And that opens up the arena of arena-ness. Yay. I could never find that until a long time growing up. Like, I don't know why. It's so stupid. <laughs> and when you're falling down here, there's gonna be fishes falling down too. So be wary of that, guys. Never got five of them down there before. Yeah. And I remember what's in there. All that's in there is a bonkers, but since we already have full life and I have a hammer, bonkers doesn't really matter right now. Now, if we go down here, there's going to be a door. And in this... Ah, was stupid. Uh, no, give me no. I need the high jump guy. Let's ditch the high jump guy. And come on, and bam! With a little tricky footwork, we can get in this cannon and get the switch. Yeah. And that'll unlock the dueling arena, the dueling thing, the jigger. And we almost die there due to my carelessness. And since we activated the secret, let's try our best to finish this level as quickly as possible. Shall we? Thought so. As you can see, this level looks pretty similar to one of the levels in one of the first worlds, except they made it harder. At least that's what I thought. And I'm like, wait, am I getting green greens again? The hell? And now all of a sudden we're in Butter Building, or was it Great Barns? I don't remember. And we're about to fight a boss, believe it or not. And it's a boss we haven't seen before. This is the Fire Lion, I think its name is. If you have a power up, spam it. If you don't, then. Sorry, but you'll have to find the strategy yourself. Ah. And yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Let's take the burning ability. Because I will fight bonkers. Because I think it's in the sixth world where you can find a secret as well. I don't remember though. 
but just in case. Now, I want to use the burning ability against Bonkers, I'm stupid. Because in, I think in every world past number three, you actually have to find the teleporters yourself. Like, with a secret. Well, that was easy. And since we beat Bonkers, we have easy access to the hammer now. Because, well, we can just beat Bonkers. Kind of vulgar. And this, uh, and this level, I think, is basically made just so you can lose your hammer. Just, just for you to lose your hammer. But with a little fancy footwork and such, that will not be happening. It almost happened there, you, you bastard. Well then, let's sleep through here. And those will activate these guys. There's one to kind of trick you there. I think there's a maximum tomato you can get at the end if you really care, or was it an extra life? If you outran them, if you, if you were using a wheelie, but we were not using a wheelie. And here's another place specifically meant for wheelies, I guess. And then he just stops and jumps. Yeah, this is what you need your hammer for. You can crush these iron blocks with the hammer. And now we just use the hammer to get through here. And as you can see, there's a secret passage here leading to the button that unveils the WAP STAR! Yay! And why do they put a max tomato here? I don't know. And I like how they put a door there leading to there, but not leading to the button to basically just tease you, like, haha, you can't get the button. Overall, it's a pretty short level, and since it's basically made, I don't actually know, it's actually kind of easy. And now for the boss. Who is the boss, you may ask? It's the weird drilling thing that I can't, that I never remember from this game. I barely remember this guy. Uh... What you're supposed to do to fight him is, when he does that, wait for him to shoot a bullet, and then shoot it at him. That's what you're meant to do in this boss. And, oh, and follow him, because he's digging a pathway. It's a scrolling boss, more or less. But overall, it's pretty easy. Especially if you come in with a hammer. <laughs> oh, silly, silly Kirby. And that was the boss of the tomato yard. Kind of simple. And next time, we go to the Orange Ocean! But what awaits us in the Orangest of Oceanists? Find out! Yeah. Find out next time on Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. I'm X for X. Goodbye!